Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Psychic Goddess Erica. If I look a little bit sleepy today, it's because I am. <laughs> but it's all good. We're still in the middle of retrogrades going on at the time of me filming this. Anyways, today in the Learn the Tarot series, we're learning about the Emperor, still working with the Melanated Classic Tarot. Um, so if the Empress was card three in the Major Arcana, the Emperor is card four in the Major Arcana in the Fool's Journey with us representing the Fool, representing us in life's journey, life's lessons things of that nature as previously described in other um in the other videos so coming off of the empress which is more of like the energy of like being pregnant with creation symbolically pregnant with creation or literally being pregnant with creation and the energy of things being in the manifestation process things that are growing being nurtured and developing the emperor is the energy of things um, becoming more of a foundational um, energy, more of a foundational vibe. The energy of the number four is more of structure. It's more of feeling more rooted and secure. It's feeling a bit more solid. And with the number five, I'm uh, not five, with the number four, um, you may be beginning to see more of the actual tangible results of what you have been creating previously. So the emperor is the energy of like feeling more secure in self, feeling more secure in your thought process, process, feeling more secure in the decisions that you are making or are going to make. You know what I mean? Feeling more of a sense of like authority in terms of authority in your own life, in terms of authority in terms of what you want to do for you and your path, in terms of, in terms of what is best for you and the people in your life or those close to you. With the emperor, there's also a vibe of like protective energy as well. Some people will even say like the emperor can have more of like a, like a, a fatherly kind of vibe, whereas the empress of course has more of a motherly kind of vibe. Um, regardless of what you identify with, we all have divine masculine and divine feminine energy. So the empress was more the divine feminine energy. The emperor is more the divine masculine energy. Like, look at this. Looks ready to get things done, right? Looks ready to handle business, right? Looks ready, looks pretty sure um, in terms of what they have to say and what they're gonna do. So that's kind of the vibe that the emperor has. What's interesting too is in this particular one, cause you guys know I read intuitively, this emperor it looks like they're very much have their eyes locked on something so i keep hearing spirit say right now um the emperor can represent like eyes on the prize or the eyes in terms of like what you want like the business you need to handle or or what's needing your attention what needs to be taken care of what needs to be watched over like keeping a protective eye on something things like that if if this happens like if you notice in a card for example that their eyes are looking in a direction like this one is looking this way pull another card to see what's on the other side of what they're looking at at that time if that makes sense so but also looking at the emperor they the emperor has armor the emperor has armor so protection, the emperor energy is about protection, whether you're protecting someone or something, whether you're protecting yourself, whether you're um, being divinely protected by your spirit team. There's an energy of also protective vibes that come with the emperor as well. What they're protecting, what you're protecting will depend upon, you know, the reading and what you're being channeled, what you're downloading, and maybe what the question was and what the other cards are saying if you're pulling other cards. There's a whole lot of red. So there's a whole lot of red. So um, depending upon what you're seeing in the rest of the reading, whenever there's a lot of red, sometimes it could mean that there's like some sort of a red flag that needs to be addressed um, or, or to pay attention to. But also red is the energy of the root chakra, base chakra energy, which is that of stability foundation, feelings of security, things like that. Um, a crown, know your worth, know your worth, know your value. Crowns represent that royalty energy. The beard, whenever I see a beard, I think of someone wise. I think of um, even like wizard type energy. So know your magic, know your power. Um, again, I'm not breaking down the literal symbolism. As you guys know by now, if you've been watching the series, I read intuitively. So that's what I'm going by in terms of what I'm seeing here sitting on the throne you know what i mean again 
know that you are the royalty of your own life, right? So treat yourself as such and make your decisions as such. And also in terms of like, if you're the emperor, right? You want to make um, your choices that are with your people in mind, right? Your people, your family, your community, your tribe, your kingdom. Like if you are a emperor of integrity, you want to make choices that are of the healthiest and that help and protect everyone involved. So keeping the, in that in mind as well, when um, taking on that authoritative energy as emperor as well. Now in the reversed, if you choose to read reverse or even if it's upright, but maybe there's more negative cards around or maybe the energy you're just feeling intuitively, if you're not pulling other cards, if it just doesn't feel really good, if it feels kind of off. In more of the negative sense or sometimes in the reverse sense, the emperor can be someone who is more of a controlling nature like that controlling manipulative nature think this is pretty bad but think king joffrey king of thrones right that guy like super off and controlling right and manipulative so not to say it's at that extreme every time but that was just kind of an example of what i mean um so in a more negative sense the emperor and like if the overall reading does not look very positive or if it's reversed or whatever it is you're feeling intuitively um, sometimes the emperor can be someone who is more of like wanting like power hungry or controlling manipulative or even like um, uh, like a super overly authoritative think um, think of like like someone who abuses their power you know what I mean um, someone who works in authority authority or maybe even like law law enforcement or like um, the justice system and things like that but uh uh abuses the authority sometimes the emperor can be seen in that light if it is more of like a negative reading or um things like that sometimes it can give can even give like narcissist vibes like a narcissistic person um in terms of like gaslighting and manipulation if it's like reversed or or even if it's upright and there's other cards around it really just will depend like i always say there's not one meaning on any card it will depend on what your what it's the story it's telling at that time but yeah so those are some of the more negative aspects of um the emperor as well like the the controlling father think uh, no i don't that's kind of shady to say i want to say i was gonna say joe jackson <laughs> but yeah anyways um so that's what i have for you guys right now as far as the emperor if you enjoyed this um and you choose to you could always tip for me by being your tea for being your teacher and all this by buying me a coffee the information is below in the description on where you can go to do that subscribe like this video comment and share and i will see you guys in the next video which will be the hierophant